So there's tons of items that you can get in Final Fantasy VII Remake, including armors and accessories, but a few of them can be really really strong, especially for the end game and on the hard difficulty if you're planning to platinum the game or even better, maybe even go up against some of the toughest challenges in this game. Many of these you might encounter along the way while playing the main storyline, but a few of these have some really interesting requirements and can easily be missed. Like one of the strongest items in the game is pretty difficult to get but we're gonna jump into that in just a little bit in the meantime as always if you enjoyed this video a thumbs up on it would definitely be super awesome um first things first let's start with some really cool armors that you might want to get on your characters starting with a really interesting and probably one of the best ones out there which is the chain bangle this pretty much adds 50 points to both your regular defense as well as magical defense and it also has four material slots out there with two of them being linked as well so definitely extremely useful out there if you're planning to use as many attacks as possible while still retaining some really useful stats now in order to get this you find it in chapter 17 in the region called the drum at the level 5 right after this cutscene with professor hojo but as soon as that cutscene finishes you're gonna reach this room right here and if you continue in this room into the second one in this laboratory and take it to the right um, you're gonna find this box right here hidden pretty much all of the other stuff out there but once you take it you're going to finally get the chain bangle now unfortunately on my second visit over here with the chapter selection I wasn't able to get another one so after doing some digging around the internet it seems that you can only get one chain bangle at the very least from this chest right here and I don't believe there is another way to get another one so this is something that you're probably going to want to use on your main character or um, whichever character of the four you're gonna be controlling the most but do not worry there is a really nice alternative that's not that much weaker than this one and you can also get multiple of them this of course brings us to the second item which is the cog bangle and this provides 39 points to defense and now the 35 to the magical defense as well as three material slots with only two of them being linked um, but this is a nice alternative and you can get uh, multiple of these from chapter 15 as a drop from the Valkyrie fight and as a matter of fact you can go in chapter 15 repeat the fight or if you're lazy in doing that um, you can wait up until chapter 16 and go at the vendor near the Shinra combat simulator as uh, that one sells it for about almost 5,000 gil and nonetheless you can get multiple of these as I was saying and you can quickly um, equip these on the other characters that didn't get a chance to use the chain bangle on the third spot we have uh, basically two items since these are something that you might want to alternate between which are of course the supreme bracer and the rune amulet now the difference between these two items is the fact that the supreme bracers provide more regular defense so that's uh, something that you might want to use against regular enemies with regular attacks meanwhile the rune amulet provides more protection against magic attacks so uh, this is something that you might want to use against enemies that tend to use a ton of spells but you can win both of these from the combat simulator in chapter 6 16 or later on you can also get them from the vendor right next to the combat simulator for like 6,000 gills so uh, yeah it's a matter of preference over here but it's definitely suggested to go ahead and do the challenges over there that reward you these since they aren't really that difficult to begin with now this brings us to the second section which is gonna be all about accessories and there's definitely a lot of them that can work really well but I'm going to name about four of these that are an absolute must and then I'm gonna go over a few ones that that can be really um, good situational items um, first one let's go with probably my favorite which is the champion belt um, this is something that increases your max HP by 10% as well as strength by another 5% so this is like one of the best items out there if you want to get pure stats for both survivability as well as damage um, there's a few ways in which you can get the champions belt you first get to see this in chapter 9 um, by defeating jewels in the pro school squats tournament over there and then the second time you can also do it in chapter 14 when you also have Tifa in your party and then you can uh, challenge Jules once again but this time around is going to be for the um, pull-ups tournament which is also pretty damn difficult I mean both of these challenges can take a little bit of time to get accustomed with so my best suggestion over here and something that worked the best for me to ensure my victory was to kind of dissect the movement into two parts so instead of thinking about it 
as a four button sequence, I thought about it as two sequences um, of two buttons each and for each of these sequences I just thought about drawing a line. So for example in my sequence right here with triangle, circle, square, X and then triangle again I just thought of two lines, the first one um, circle to square which was horizontal from right to left and the second one from X to triangle which was basically bottom to top so it was basically right left bottom top right left bottom top right left bottom top and it made things so much easier than whatever I was doing before. Anyway, if you're still struggling to complete this challenge or likewise if you just prefer an easier method, there's another, a third method that is much faster than this and all you have to do is to start chapter 13 again, continue the story up until you reach the collapsed expressway and towards the end of it you're going to encounter some bandits including of course this grungy bandit right here and what you will want to do over here is to have have the assess materia, the steel materia as well as the lock up materia equipped on your character, preferably with the lock materia as high as possible with the level because this is going to increase your luck and you're going to have an easier time stealing the champion's belt from the grungy bandit and yes if you analyze that bandit you're gonna see him listing the champion's belt right under his name and you can go ahead and cast a few steals on him until you actually get it. In this case as you can see I was able to get it in like the third try so it was pretty damn easy and from this point on I just defeated everybody and lo and behold I had another champion's belt and yes this also works on the easy difficulty and I believe that even on like the lower one than this so Try it, it's gonna definitely work and I'm pretty sure you can also repeat this and go up against the same uh, enemy again and again and get like as many champion belts as you wish. Moving on to number 6, we have an amazing item that's gonna be very suitable for spellcasters if you want to increase that damage and this is the circlet. It just goes by this name, it increases your max MP by 10% and magic power by 5%. So you can get this in Corneo's secret stash side quest in chapter 14 and it's going to be behind this red and gold dragon gate in the region called Steel Mountain in sector 5 slums. So you're gonna probably reach this point several times and wondering how do you even open that one up? Well, that's gonna be in chapter 14 after like progressing in the main storyline and then also activating this side quest and this is gonna give you access to all of those doors out there. There's three in total, but this one right here in the Steel Mountain is going to provide you the circlet from one of these chests that you get to open. So just open them all and eventually you're gonna get it. Um, This brings us to the sixth one, which is gonna be a healer item. Definitely something that you're gonna wanna use in the end game and especially so if you're going against the hardest challenges where you will want to have a designated healer like for example Barret or Aerith but the healing Karknet is something that I definitely recommend over here it increases effectiveness of not just like healing coming from items but also spells and abilities so this means the healing materia as well as the prey or chakra materia will all benefit from this on top of the potions the healing potions that uh, you might want to get access to um, but otherwise you get this first in chapter 13 underground lab and this is gonna be the section where you play with Barrett um, you're gonna reach this second ladder as soon as you reach this underground facility and once you climb at the top of it go to to the left there's going to be a wall over here that you can shoot and destroy and behind it there's going to be the healing carcanet waiting for you over there and yes you can pretty much collect this over and over again for multiple versions. Anyway, on a final note, this also brings us to the very best item in the game, also the very hardest to obtain, which is of course the Goter Damarang accessory. I hope that I pronounced that correctly, but this is an absolutely insane item that's gonna make things so much easier for you because on one side it led to enter battles with a full limit break gauge so you can basically go ahead and use your limit breaks right away which is going to be absolutely massive these are probably the hardest hitting attacks in the game especially the level 2 versions and it's gonna make things so much easier also let's not forget about the second bonus which uh, pretty much lets you increase that limit break gauge gradually during the battle so it's refilling um, all the time basically now not just when uh, stunning enemies or when taking damage, it's gonna work 
all around the fight so just a crazy item now there's a few requirements over here that you will need to complete like this is the very last end game item that you will get after probably the toughest challenge in this game so i'm gonna try to not spoil anything but the requirements over here are pretty much this you have to complete all of the colosseum challenges in chapter 9 and 14 respectively you also have to complete all the 13 shinra combat simulator challenges in chapter 17 and i'm pretty sure you also have to finish all the 20 battle intel reports for Chadley to have this available to you and once you do that this unlocks the three person team versus top secrets mission the 14 one the heart challenge in chapter 17 um, combat simulator over there so absolutely crazy this is like one of the toughest fights out there it's gonna put you up against pretty much the toughest enemies in the game but at the very least you're gonna get the best item out there anyway this is pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always if you did don't forget to comment like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and peace